Thanks for checking into Stock Investing and Trading 101. Today we're going to be doing a Thinkorswim tutorial starting from uh, just starting out. Uh, what Thinkorswim is, is a platform to chart stocks for free. You can also trade stocks and options on here, but they do have commissions that can add up pretty quickly. Uh, I choose not to trade on there, but I do use the free charting. When you first uh, get to the, uh, what you first have to do is create an account download the platform and once you open it it'll look something like this uh, this here is little widgets and tools that you can add remove uh, essentially what they are is this shows your profit this shows all your working and filled orders uh, you can add different widgets you can change and adjust any of them so you could have your uh, orders your cash available uh, any type of calendar or uh, alarms there's lots of different settings you can use on here. You could watch the CNBC for US, Europe, and Asia. I don't really use all these widgets or anything all too much. Typically what I do is just the charting. And so we're going to look at forward for our charts. This is a one day chart, one year. So this entire chart represents one whole year and each candle represents one day. Uh, you can see the price action of forward here. So once you get here, this is in this area here where I'm putting my mouse is where all the chart settings are, the most of them at least. I don't really use this one all too much, but the first one we'll jump into is this. This is how you add your chart indicators, such as the RSI, uh, moving averages, Bollinger Bands, uh, things like that. I'll show you how to add some of these. These can help you. Uh, analyze better and uh, can give you some indicators as to when to buy and sell stocks. Uh, the, the indicators I like to use are the RSI. So once you open it, just have uh, studies, type in RSI, and you can pick. Uh, there's tons of uh, different ones. I use the basic RSI. I use the VWAP. The VWAP is a volume weighted uh, moving average, a uh, very good indicator that many people use and you could also add a simple moving average just type in SMA and you got a simple moving average you can add uh, MACD I like the MACD that's typically about all I use uh, I think over putting too many indicators or studies on there could be uh, detrimental so once you have the ones you want uh, added just click apply and we'll uh, we have our chart with all our studies here you have your RSI, MACD, you got your VWAP and your moving average here uh, and you got your volume. Uh, one thing I like to do right away with these studies if you want to adjust the VWAP as you see it is a pink line that's kind of hard to see. Uh, you click on the little gear icon this is the settings. I like to have mine in a nice gold color that you can really see. I also usually put it as a 2 this makes it a little bit thicker and you can choose if you want it to be a dotted line or a solid line i like the solid line and just click ok apply and there's your vwap just how you want it and also with the sma you can do the same thing i like to make it a solid line and we can stick with the blue for this example so there we go that's how you adjust your settings for your indicators is same with the, the exact same tool that you added them with uh, so once you add your indicators that you want the next thing is the time frame setup what this is is it allows you uh, which view you want of the charts if you want to look at the one year one day chart the one day one minute uh, you can look at a five minute chart and uh, so you click them and it'll bring you to each uh, respective chart so you can do tons of options you can customize the list to add your own time frames you can remove time frames there's quite a bit of options. Next we have the style button. This is some uh, basic settings. Don't really use these all too often to be honest with you guys. Uh, very rarely do I use these. But what I do use is drawings. This is something that I probably use the most out of anything. This is where you can add your trend lines, your moving, uh, your trend lines, your support, your resistance. Uh, Fibonacci extensions and retracements uh, there's tons of stuff so uh, each one kind of has its own thing the pointer is like your basic 
uh, pointer that you can just move around with. That's kind of what you're just navigating the chart with. Uh, but more importantly, you can click on, this is a trend line button. So once you click on this, you now get a pencil and you can draw a trend line if you see a trend line and add that right to the chart. You can do price levels. So you use this button for support and resistance. You can uh, zoom into the chart. I use control of my mouse wheel to uh, zoom in so you can get the exact point of resistance. As you see here, this reached a peak of 1050. It tells you the high. It shows you it right there. And you just throw exactly on 1050, throw it on there, and you now have resistance. You can plot support. Uh, you see support here, uh, probably support here. So uh, that's how you do that. That's how you add your lines and doing that. So as you can see, we already have some indicators on the chart. We got some support, some uh, resistance, and you can really do a lot with this. If you know how to use Fibonacci retracements and extensions, I can uh, explain that in another video, but this is where you would add them. And feel free to check any of these uh, tools out. They definitely can be useful, and especially uh, some of these up here. These are some of the main ones that I'm always using. So that is uh, how I like to customize my chart. After you do that, you can also do, uh, I like to go into the settings right away. This is like general chart settings. Uh, what I typically do is change this to open high low close. It's uh, OHLC. So when you're drawing a trend line, this snaps it up to the high or the low so that way it just makes it a little bit easier and a little bit cleaner i like to do that so i add that right away uh, you can adjust any of these to your own personal preference there's no right or wrong way uh, next you can adjust your price axis and your time axis uh, you can add or remove your time frames here as i went over before uh, your time frames as to if you want to look at the one minute five minute 30 minute whatever chart you want to analyze uh, you can adjust the appearance. You can have, if you don't want a candle chart, you can have a bar chart. You can have a uh, Heikinashi Hake, chart. Uh, there's tons of different uh, charts you can use. I like to stick with the basic candle charts. Uh, everyone has their own personal preference. And you can also adjust the colors of uh, what you want. If you want it all gray, you can have it all gray. I like it uh, just like this. It looks good to me. So. Uh, equities, these are some other options that I don't really use all too often. This is for Forex and futures and stuff like that. And I, like I said, I don't really trade on here. So the main thing I'm using this for is charting. So once we apply that, we added our open, high, low, close. We got our uh, candles figured out or however we want that set up. Uh, what you can do is go to setup. You can go to uh, save workplace if you want to save the workplace and as you see I have quite a bit of different workplaces here once this is set up then you now have a workplace set up where every time that you look at a stock switch it over you will have the uh, indicators that you want set up so it's pretty cool if you don't save it the next time you open thinkorswim you're gonna have to redo all of that so make sure you save your work uh, and a couple other things I want to add is that you can adjust how many stocks you want to look at here by clicking this button, this little rectangle. You can do two stocks. Uh, if you want, you can do four stocks. Uh, you can do as many stocks as you want, but as you add more stocks, it gets more weird to look at them. So I like to either do two or a four like that. Uh, typically just two is good or depends uh, what I'm doing so uh, you can add more stocks than one pretty cool especially if you have more than one monitor it makes it a lot easier to watch many stocks um, another thing that's really cool that I have set up on mine I'll go to my actual workplace here and what you can do is save certain studies as a group so uh, looking at my pretty messy chart here I have it set up where if I want to use the uh, Bollinger Bands and the, see this is the uh, Bollinger Bands, the MACD, the RSI, different studies, and you can have it uh, set up to just one button click and you switch over to 
a different study. So like I'll show you guys. Just by clicking over, it switches what indicators are being used. And uh, you can adjust that to anything. Some people like to use moving over, uh, moving average crossovers as uh, bullish or bearish crossovers. So you could have one that's just your moving averages. Then you could have another using the MACD and the RSI to try and determine uh, buy and sell points, which is a more advanced technique. I'm going to be going over how to actually use some of these indicators and some more of the nitty gritty details in the future uh, because there's just so much stuff to get into that uh, it would take me forever to make a video about everything. So I just wanted to get you guys into Think or Swim uh, to at least get you knowing what you're doing. This is how you uh, analyze, this is how I analyze my charts, my support and resistance, and, and this is how I trade by looking at uh, stuff like this. I really like Think or Swim a lot. Uh, you can over here you can another cool thing I'll show you guys is you can link the chart and So you can create your own watch list. I have my own watch list here of all the stocks I'm watching and what you can do is You can link the two by clicking this button if you want to click this one and make it blue and this one and make it blue You now link the two together when I click on a stock in my watch list it brings it right up in the chart so see I got 3M on my watch list, uh, tons of stocks on here. So it's pretty cool that you can link that. And you can link anything. Everything has a link. So you could link this one to something else over here. Uh, there's tons of options. And also uh, on your side here, forgot to go over, you have some more gadgets. You can add watch lists. You can have news. Uh, and to switch the watch lists or the gadget, just go to switch gadget. And as you see, there's tons of them. You could add a calculator, you could have uh, a dashboard, you could be playing Minesweeper even, Tetris. Uh, it's pretty crazy. They have Trader TV, live news, live audio, tons of stuff. I use mainly the watch list, maybe some live news. And uh, another cool thing with the live news is if you have this linked to something in your watch list, you can, if I click on this, it will, oops, I changed it to blue. We'll change this to blue. Uh, so we click this, it'll bring up all the news for whichever stock we want to look at. So if I click on, let's see, where's a well-known stock, Amazon. I click on Amazon. This is all the Amazon news that's came out. I mean, this is news that came out today and another one today. So there's tons of news every day. So you can literally know exactly what's going on with this company every single piece of news. Uh, it's a pretty reliable, Thinkorswim is a pretty well-known and reliable uh, platform. So I hope you guys liked the video. I'll show you guys some more about, like I said, the using the indicators to trade with and, and other things, a little more advanced things. But uh, for now, just uh, get accustomed to it. Make sure to save your work, of course, and get accustomed to the platform. And we'll see you guys in the next video.